What's good, you guys? I'm Chanel with Lizzie's Charm, and today we are doing a pick a card. So this is going to be a pick a card on self-reflection. Uh, you're basically seeing where you are in alignment with yourself and seeing what's hidden from you and getting into the alignment that you want. So we're going to go over mind, body, spirit, and your emotions. We're going to get a little bit of advice and you know, just check in with ourselves. So we have some stones here. The first one is a chrysola with malachite. This helps you tap into your inner voice. And then we have a serpentarian stone, which is a dragon stone. Uh, this helps support in changing and transformation. It also, what did I write down here? It also helps keep people out of business <laughs> and from psychic attack, but it's also a very healing stone uh, physically and yeah, spiritually. And then we have a unikite stone, very watery, fertile kind of energy. Uh, it supports the heart. It also supports the womb and health of that. Also very good stone for create, connecting with your vision and your creativity. So, Let's go ahead and get started. And if you chose the Chrysola Malachite, that is our will be the first cards that we are pulling. Get the energy clear a little bit. So let's go ahead and get into this. I hope that you guys are having a good Friday. This is a timeless reading. So whenever you are seeing this. Uh, it should apply or should be for you. There is no wrong or right time to sit and watch this. There is a shadow. Fruit one. What would you like to be know as far as their alignment? Expecting from them at this time. What is hidden from your advice and messages do you have for them moving forward? So the first card is the Ace of Wands. So this is the subconscious, what's going on in your subconscious. So you may be operating from the space of something new, moving, acting in a new way, doing things in a new light, but also having some type of inspiration or an opportunity coming to you by way of you calling this in from that subconscious space of doing things differently, a new job, a new, new spiritual connection or focused on that in that being supportive of you. This can also speak to a need of correcting or not necessarily correcting, but moving into a new way of thinking, perceiving, seeing things, needing to do something new. Perhaps a spiritual practice will help shift your mindset, right? Because if this is that mind, that mind space that is that we are unaware of, right? So you're already in a space of doing it. So uh, in the conscious mind, you are moving on from old ways of thinking, old ways of perceiving yourself, perceiving life, any type of negative talk that is leaving from your reality. It may not be as easy as you would like, but it is happening. And you are on the path of doing that. You're very focused on that. Also possibly finding a new way to communicate on a conscious space, Very being very aware of yourself and how it is that your thoughts are playing out in your reality. Everything is mine, you know, as well as spiritual. And this is a very, you seem to be very focused on your spiritual space whether that is subconsciously and consciously, that being very supportive. So it does seem like with the subconscious energy that you are holding a space of 
a new connection with spirit and that is being facilitated through moving through these old thoughts these old mind spaces that have not been serving you that have been keeping you in this kind of conflict whether that's been with others outside of you or with just within yourself so on a physical level material wise you are rebirthing something something is becoming a new you may be deciding to revamp your material things or get back into something that connects you to your inner child have you know having having things that connect you on all levels mind body spirit that resonates with who it is that you are you know and really answering the call of what it is that you want your physical life to look like you know so you may also be feeling very called to add some spiritual things into your home, maybe some crystals, maybe, you know, getting you some incense, some cleansing aspects going forward. This can also speak to those who are, are not feeling that pull in doing something new. You may be missing it in a sense, maybe, um, while you're in this space of trying to move forward in a new way of thought that you are not recognizing that you also need to shift some of the things within your space your material possessions but i strongly feel like that those who chose the chrysola stone that you are definitely adding some more spiritual space aspects to your life to your material possessions to the things is that you have things that are more, more calling to who it is that you are on a soul level this is here spirit so your well-being your your well-being is very good, you know, feeling very grounded within yourself, feeling healthy, vibrant, you know, feeling like you, you seem to have been taking very good care of yourself on all levels because the Ten of Pentacles, the Pentacles are cups, wands, and and also swords reflected through the material manifestation. So these these shifts that you have been making in your in your mental space has really begun to reflect in your in your home life in the things it is that you have your finances as well as your health every things are really aligning for you in a very prosperous way that is bringing abundance to your life you may be about to receive something from this so the energy that you are currently embodying is the Queen of Cups. So you are feeling very receptive in this space of receiving, you know, attain not necessarily attaining, but it's almost this sense of alchemy, you know. I've I've changed my mind. I am shifting my frequency my vibration so now i'm in this space of being open to receive everything that's in my that i desire in my life right because cups is a, are about wants dreams desires you know it's very heart heart based so this may also be speaking to your emotional intelligence it is that you hold within and really being aligned with that within yourself and that also supporting you in manifesting within your life this judgment and this ten of cups energy really calling in some big things in your life whether it's shifts that have been needing to happen in order to align you to the space that you need to be in but either way you are this the queen of cups is the minor arcana of the high priestess for me. So just feeling very connected, very uh, aligned to your intuition, following your intuition and trusting and believing in that, that that is guiding you in the way that 
you need to go listening to the call you know this this judgment energy which is coming in for you as far as your material position possessions listening to what it is that you need to have within your life that's going to make you feel at your best so for the spirit aspect we have okay the devil so maybe you are you may be focused on really calling back your energy where it has been uh deceiving you where it has been not serving you where it has been not helping you align to the life it is that you want and getting beyond any old subconscious thoughts any old subconscious habits ways of going about things that have been stifling you in your life that have been keeping you tied to this material aspect of life but also these the hitting the, your shadow energy as well moving through that and no longer allowing that to deceive you really lightening things up especially with these first rows of this mind and body you know and really no longer letting that devil in you control and rule your life and really taking things by by the reins by the the ways in which it will best support you in being able to you know pack light so for the spiritual practice you have the nine of cups so this is about being grateful feeling being in the space of gratitude for what it is that you have for what it is that you are moving forward into recognizing that it is how it is that you're showing up today that is going to support you tomorrow you know and also perhaps needing to get into some water energy so maybe taking baths maybe uh doing any type of maybe you just need to go to the water and connect with water spirits possibly maybe you need to connect with feminine energy this you may be a woman here and i say that because the queen of cups is here and you got the nine of cups with the spiritual practice so perhaps you need to also connect do some things that are support you in connecting with your intuition connecting with that inner voice also support you in listening and being able to hear a bit more clearly but also your feelings how it is tapping into how it is your feeling so really getting in your body you know you have the queen of cups here in the embodiment area so maybe taking some time to do practices that help you drop down in your body and not have you so much in that mind space that creates that conflict that stops you from being able to move forward that kind of uh, creates those those unnecessary thoughts that bring you know confusion and chaos to your mind to your life so Because that that's that spiritual practice is going to support you in creating the emotional fulfillment that you desire. Also, those relationships, being able to connect with others as well. Perhaps you do need to connect with those who can support you in being able to connect with spirit in in a more passive type of way you probably don't need a spiritual practice that is so routine like in a sense kind of like just going with the flow choosing to acknowledge that it's okay it feels good go with however it is that you're feeling all right so in the emotions quadrants you have the eight of swords so the eight of swords usually is about blinding oneself of what actually is possible you see that what is possible what's really going on not seeing things clearly but this does not feel like that if you know that's not saying that some of you aren't experiencing this but it is also and telling me feeling like that you are coming out of this that you are no longer seeing yourself as some type of victim of anything you know really taking the reins the control of your life right because you also have the devil card here in the spiritual 
in the first spiritual overall energy and in the original Rider Waite tarot deck. Uh, no, it's not that one. There are a couple of um, decks where the devil card it is a person in a cage, but the gate is open, right? And this is the same energy. So it's just a matter of walking out and seeing, recognizing your power, seeing that you are in control of your circumstances, of your life, you know, the way it is that you feel that spiritual practice is really going to support you in being able to connect to uh, that emotional fulfillment it is that you want by getting out of your mind. But you are doing that with the Six of Swords already. It is just if this is you in this eight of swords energy going to take some time, it's going to take the effort, the, the consistency in being able to change your mind, right? Because the wheel is turning for you. You are no longer being in the space of these old habits, you know, these old emotions, ways of thought that have not been allowing you to or even in any type of wounds that you have been dealing with uh, when it comes to your emotions and that creating this kind of victim narrative within how it is that you're feeling. You know, a new cycle is really taking place here and it's supporting you in being able to come out of that energy of not being able to see things in a way that is clear for you. The, the fog, the smoke is clearing. So the advice that spirit has is, let's see, keepers of the earth. So keepers of the earth speaks about that you have support, you have your ancestors on your side, but you also have people physically here on this earth that can help you move forward and kind of get you out of any unbound any bounded situation it is that is continuing to weigh you down you know to support you in releasing and moving through any old type of soul contracts you know any patterns it is that has that is keeping you in this devil in eight of swords energy if you are still working through that you know and you are moving through that as if now today you know or perhaps you have been been already working on that but see that as a confirmation that you are on the right path and if you don't have an ancestor altar that might be something that you want to set up and you know leave them some water give them some offerings light a candle for them every day because that is going to continue to reinforce it reinforces that reminder, that rem that remembrance, that you have everything that you need, that you are protected, you know, keeping the faith. Let's see. The third house. So the third house, this has to do with uh, childhood things, you know, but this is also, so third house is a lot about perspective, it's about communication in our thoughts, it's about how we relate to others and how we connect to others. It is also about your sense of wholeness, how it is that you are where you're not recognizing that you are whole already as you are and just needing to move through any blockages. It is that has been holding you in a space of not being able to see these things clearly and really being able to enjoy life as it is, you know, what it is that you have right now. So really a need to call, you know, call back your energy, call back your power from the spaces it is that you have allowed to kind of take that from you through your perspective of things. This is also talking about your things that you have picked up along the way through life, um, just witnessing and really a need to transform these things, let that old die so you can now connect more with who it is that you are today in in this life so we'll pull one more card on the advice and then I'm gonna see oh well that's not a card that can be read <laughs> that will be the woman in the deck so this a lot of you who were who pulled who chose this are women here this deck feels 
this deck, this group feels very feminine. And especially why is it the need to get out of your head, like almost creating stories in a sense if you have been. Time to let those go. Yeah, so mice talks about restless energy. Right, but with mice coming out, that means it also speaks about a lot of chaos. It speaks about maybe some type of loss or, you know, feeling like something had been stolen from you, you know, especially in regards to love. What is this? The Six of Swords. So you're moving on from this because the mice do speak about recovery after great difficulty, you know, and this has a lot to do with your mind state your mind energy you know and being able to really move beyond that so you are coming out of that energy six of swords here twice so it is for sure right and, and six and six is 12 right that's the hangman so whatever it is that you have not been clear about whatever it has been a little bit confusing for you the light is being shown, shed it on these aspects so that you can come out and move through that, you know, you need some, you need to recognize, see, being able to see these patterns through your emotional and mind state. It makes me feel like with this Queen of Cups, and this is we're pulling what's hidden from you. This Queen of Cups um, energy in the embodiment is starting to feel as if that you may be sad about something, may have um, felt a little brokenhearted surrounding a relationship or just surrounding life in general and how things have been going and that has been causing or inspiring you to change your mind right but there's forward movement what's hidden from you the eagle the eagle speaks about a need and change of your routines so perhaps the way you've been going about things has maybe you've been a little bit too much in your your Mm, routines and patterns when it comes to your thoughts right because ego is air energy again you know it's about acquiring new perspectives so definitely a need to it calls she calls you to ascend you know and really connect with spirit yeah it's really a need so you're not recognizing that this has been a mind thing all this time it seems or maybe you are coming to the space of seeing this, that this has been a mind thing, you may have been in this space of, well, my feelings are just hurt, when in reality, it's been the way that you've been thinking about everything for so long, you know, maybe have been in a sense of kind of confusion of loss of not being able to figure out what to do next. But what to do next is simply shift, shift your mind, shift how it is that you've been going about doing things, right? Because your routines, sometimes it takes for us to be able to shift a thing by doing something physically. And you may need to change your routines, however it is that they may be. What have you been doing for a long time that's just not working anymore? You need to take some time to really see and recognize that maybe this bath will help you do that connecting with your intuition going within and quieting the mind so that you can allow that quiet voice to show up and be able to support you in moving forward taking flight you know so that you can really see what it is that your vision is right and that you can start taking the steps that is going to support you in moving forward in that vision. But overall, and I'll pull one more affirmation card for you guys. Overall, um, the energy feels good. It's just a need to continue to allow the old to die, to call back your power, to, you know, really be the truth of things and not really be caught in this space of, pessimism it's also but also moving through your shadows kind of 
not necessarily drowning them out, but seeing what needs to be integrated from what lessons it is that you've learned from what you have experienced. So this must be about a relationship. So because you got ideal partnership, whatever type of relationship that you desire, you are worthy of. That's basically what this card says. I am a rare and precious find and my brilliance will be reflected back to me when I'm paired with a true match. My ideal par partnerships and working relationships are easy and flow free, free flowing. I deserve greatness because I am greatness. And to paraphrase Rumi, what I'm looking for is also looking for me. In fact, he or she might be paraphrasing Rumi right now. Hmm. Yeah, so these emotional hurts wounds recognize that everything that you're looking for is already here with you it's all in a matter of you switching up the routine in the ways in which it is that you've been going about thinking about the situation you know because at, uh, out of all of what came up that is the main blockage it is that you are having is how it is that you continue to go about in your mind and, and, and perceiving things it's not necessarily that it's not true uh it's just you are missing the truth the truth of the entire situation so group one i hope that that was helpful we are off to how to those who chose the dragon stone let's see what it is and this was the dragon stone if you chose that so let's go off to pile two. Let's see what is here for you. How to those who chose the dragon song spirit, what do you have for them today in your mind, body, spirit, and emotions? What would you like for them to know? What advice and messages do you have for them? What affirmations do you have for them? What is hidden for you? Mm, mm. How to is feeling like you are feeling unsure about something almost like you're judging yourself. Sorry. Wondering about what other people have to say about you um, or their ideas about you. And it's interesting because the, the dragon stone is about getting grounded in re realigning your chakras. Like things are about to get clear for you because it also enhances your vividness. It's a good dream stone to your vividness, your vision. <laughs> I'm sorry. It does provide vividness, clarity. So subconscious energy for pile two. Yeah, so things are transforming for you on the subconscious plane. You are moving forward in the ways in which that you have been thinking, especially when it comes to your fears. All right, that's what I was feeling. A lot of fear in my root chakra, like, what's going on? I'm not scared. <laughs> so um, just a lot of uh, also coming off as like a power struggle between uh, what it is that you want to do versus uh, how you feel that other people are perceiving you in a sense. Like, are you feeling, maybe you have been thinking that in this space that you need to show up in a way that is going to be beneficial to someone else, but this is your life. It's about you, you know? So that transformation is really taking place for you in your subconscious mind. And really, perhaps this is something that it just has been long standing in your family. Maybe your family members are like this in some sense, you know, and you have just kind of taken it on and it's time for you to be the one to move through that and release that, that false belief. So subconscious energy for group two. Yeah, uh, conscious energy, I'm sorry. So your conscious energy is the justice. So you are finding 
feeling just in basically yourself, you know, how it is that you think, how it is that you see things, you know, you're what it is that you are consciously aware of, what it is that you believe to be true, you know, and recognizing how these these beliefs, these thoughts that you've been holding on to, these fears, these invisible power struggles have been kind of affecting your life in a way that has not been serving you, right? Because when we, when life calls for transformation, it's because we need something new, something's outdated, something isn't working anymore, but you're choosing to walk through a new door and see things a little bit clearer, you know, aligning your heart with your mind space and allowing your energy to really move the old out of the way. So for your material possession, so you may be changing your mind about how you're seeing things on a material level. Perhaps you may have been in the space of seeing things from like this kind of mind of scarcity, this um, the having this internal conflict about, or perhaps you was having this internal conflict about how it is that you feel about what you want, as if that is something, there was something that wouldn't be acceptable in a sense, but you are changing your mind about that, whether that has been any type of poverty mind state or just not being sure or things feeling okay as far as the way you desire them to look, you know, and really stepping into a new place. It's definitely going to, you know, take some consistency in changing how it is that you see this, but it is happening. It will happen, you know, and you're walking into a new way of, it's almost like you're opening up more, clearing out the clutter so that you can become more receptive to what it is that you desire in your life and calling that in wellness. Yeah. So you got King of Pentacles for your wellness. So, you know, your body is feeling good, feeling strong, feeling healthy, you know, may have been really focused on taking care of yourself. And if you have not been taking care of yourself, it's a good time to, you may have just begin thinking about taking care of yourself because our ability to to feel good, to carry out our plans, to manifest as well, also have a lot to do with our wellness and our ability to take care of ourselves. It also has a lot to do with what we are able to bring into our lives, right? Because if we are cluttered internally with a lot of stagnation in the body, a lot of pain, we are not really open in a way that is allowing us to bring into ourselves the the vastness, the capacity of which it is that we actually hold based out of being so cluttered within, all right? So your wellness, it seems to be either getting good or it's already great. Just keep it up if it is and begin if that is what you're seeking for things to get better. And so embodiment embodiment you have the will of fortune so you are in this space of willing to change willing to make the shift you know in your life that needs to happen from these fixed states that that you've been kind of living in literally like if you've been just if you've been in this space of being lazy you know really not um being active not being consistent with your efforts you know, you're ready to change that, ready to, to release this, this, I, this, this bad luck, you know, out of your life and to bring more energy that is, that gives you an opportunity to gain fruition of what you're moving towards, what you're moving into, you know, cycles are ending of, how it is that you have been showing up in something better is coming for you. So for your overall spirit energy, you have, let's see. All right. Okay. Spirit. So eight of pentacles. So overall, you have been really focusing on mastering yourself, really doing and applying the work it is that is needed in order to 
come into this space of abundance to really bring to life what it is that you have been desiring to make happen to get yourself out of this space of feeling like you don't have feeling stuck feeling stagnant you know feeling like you're always having to wait on something you're you are deciding to you know, or connecting in a way of getting out your own way. Perhaps you have been connecting with your ancestors as well. If you haven't, you should, you know, also if you have been doing any type of uh, earth magic, elemental magic, conjure magic, that, that will serve you if you have not been getting into that spirit practice for you group two. So your spirit practice here, how to is, so it's time to answer the call for you. It's time for you to follow where it's going to bring you to this space of purpose, aligning with your purpose, aligning with your soul mission, you know, really connecting with your, uh, what is the word? Connecting with who it is that you are you know, on all levels, your, your inner being, your outer being, you know, your, your mother, father, child archetypes, you know, your inner child, you, your sense of wholeness, you know, your yin and your yang energy, and really moving through those dualities of yourself that, that, that can't meet because they don't work together, right? It's time to let that go and really step into your 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 calling what is it that you were here to do maybe you are just here to i don't know it doesn't matter what matters is you know <laughs> okay and really taking the time to get aligned with that so doing those things what is it that you need to do to align yourself maybe mm, so i'm getting some type of energy work may be needing to be done, some type of Reiki, um, mm, mm. maybe something working with crystals, something of the earth as well. Maybe meditation for sure. See how this card is, this person on this card is sitting here. So definitely so you can connect within and see what it is your calling is if you don't already know and if you do know that will help you and continue to know what steps it is that you need to put in it's a, a matter of needing stillness so you can see what what is here what is going on what is happening emotions two of cups mm. so this can either be your emotions may either be focused on a relationship or even just the relationship with yourself. If this is a relationship, this is about a soulmate union, someone who you feel very connected to on a very spiritual level, but more so I want to keep this about you. Um, a need to bring this is again, removing those dualities so that you can come into balance within your internal active in passive energies, you know, you're, you're doing in your ideas, you're creating, you know, in your action in, in making that happen. And so definitely take some time because that is where your emotional fulfillment is getting balance within when it comes to your internal what is it aspect so your yin and your yang energies it's time for those to come to balance so that you can feel fulfilled so maybe you have not been doing anything but you've had these ideas and you need to start doing something or maybe you've been doing a lot of things that are not fulfilling to you and you need to connect more with your own idea of what it is that you actually would like to be doing so let's see what advice you have here how to and whatever it is that you are doing building it's something that you will probably be doing on your own not that you won't be able to receive help but 
it's like an independent venture for you. I have a lot of major arcana too, a lot of faded energy. Yeah, so don't them to fit in. Be who it is that you are. Be confident in yourself. Don't allow others' ideas of who they think you should be to be that. Just, you know, show up and do you. Be you, you know, because you are definitely going into this place of starting a new cycle. Things are ending. The old way of being, doing things, you know, they worked for as long as they're going to work. And now it's time to shift, right? Because you even got the fall card of transition and you got Leo. So this is about your creativity. What is it that you're creating? This is about your inner child. You got that judgment card. So you really need to connect with that, that innocent place of you that allows you to really be able to tap into your intuition and be inspired and be creative. You know, it's time to really align with your confidence as well. Time to be confident in who it is that you are, where it is that you're going. Fall transition. It's the first half of fall. So that is Libra in, is that Libra? Yeah, it's Libra and Scorpio energy. So Scorpio energy is here again and Libra energy is here again, which was the mental energy that you had in the mind and the subconscious and the conscious mind. So it's definitely time to change your mind about how it is that you think about yourself, how you feel it is that you were seen by others, but also how it is that you want to be seen, you know, don't them to fit in, be who it is that you are, trust that it is safe and that you are you know, it's meant, you know, so I got the moon card here that speaks about this camera. It speaks about cycles ending. This is also a five of cups. The five of cups can speak about emotional maturity, emotional growth that's happening here, you know, because the moon in this deck is a good omen. Think good things are coming as you end these old things and allow, you know, life to really begin again in a sense in a way that is true for you so let's see what is hidden from you what's hidden from God's spirit let's see. what is hidden Taming the wind. So taming the wind basically talks about where do you need to go in and, and rearrange and change how it is that you have been. This is about transition again as well. Uh, taming the wind also it speaks about the cardinal directions, north, south, east, east, west. Each of them represent a different aspect of our lives. And it's about spending time in each of them and paying attention to what needs to change. So this is, let's see. This is a symbol of consciously bringing the spiritual into the material, infusing the world with reverence and acknowledgement of the higher planes of existence that influence and animate all life. The feather is a symbol, symbolic reminder of deliberate entering into a partnership with great spirit to co-create for the highest good. So again, what is this? A 10, again, what you got the will of fortune energy again. So it's definitely, oh wow, okay, so it's definitely time for you to, again, clear your energy, get into the space of communicating with spirit, again, this judgment card here in your spiritual practice, needing to really connect and recognize what you are being called to do, connect with spirit so that you can begin to co-create and recognize, or more so, we're always co-creating, but recognize that you are part of the creation of your life and do the co-creation that is here and that's happening. Um, it's just a time to honor spirit and connect with spirit so that uh, so that the infinite, the all can support you in what it is that you're doing. So take some time to um, do some clearing. It's it, That's what you've been missing, not maybe you have been 
really focused on your emotions, really focused on your body, really focused on your how it is that you're thinking, but you really, really need to connect with spirit. So with this eight of cups here in this overall spiritual energy, it makes me feel like you need to set up an altar space so that you can sit at every day, make it sacred, you know, and really connect to the divine, really connect with your guides, your spiritual team. And also if you, when it comes to this relationship card here, you if you there has been any type of loss in your relationships it's time for you to kind of clear up these misunderstandings connect reconnect with people in a way that for everybody to see both everybody's side of things you know because well, one person's hurt because of this the other person's hurt because of that you know that doesn't it's not about who's wrong or right it's about just acknowledging that um it is necessary that we are willing and able to show up in people's lives the way it is that that is needed for them. You know, we all receive love on different levels in different ways. We are very individual when it comes to that. You know, so take time to listen, to be understanding, you know, be open to understand as well um no be open to being understood as well you know that way all everything can be cleared out you know show a person that you value them you know and and recognize where you are valued so let's pull an affirmation card really quickly for how to here, what affirmations do you have to come to the spirit? Oh, generosity. It's time to be generous with your time, with your love, with your with your material possessions, whatever it is, and be open to the generosity of others as well. Do your best to, that also has a lot to do with a scarcity mindset. You know, it's important to give as much as we attain, you know, and it's also important to be open and able to receive as much as we give. So it says, I give generously to those around me, no matter how much or how little I have. I know there is more than enough to go around. The key in that, the key is to allowing it to keep going around without stopping. If I stop the flow, I'm like the one person at the stadium who doesn't do the wave. <laughs> so definitely be open to giving, to letting go of that space of lack. And most of the time when we're not being in this generous space, it's because we're seeing it as like, ooh, I gotta, I gotta keep this, I gotta I gotta clutch it, you know. And it's like, no, if you give, the spirit will find a way to um to bring it back to you always. You know, it's just in a matter if you are a generous person, give generously. You know, Leo, you got that Leo card. Leo is again a generous giver from the heart. The loves to give, you know. So how to I hope that that was helpful for you. If so, feel free to let me know in the comments if you want to if you're feeling open to it, I should say. So we are gonna move forward into pile three. In pile three, you chose the Unikite. This is a very creative stone. It's very fertile stone. It's very healing stone. So this is also a, a very feminine stone, good for any supporting healing when it comes to the womb. Good for if you're pregnant, you know, and really, supports healthy labor and healthy pregnancy and the health of the fetus as well. And what do you have for group three? Going on with Are you nervous about something? Hmm. I felt nauseous, like. 
everything is okay. Um, seems like you might be a little, not necessarily unsure, but just a bit of nerve, of energy, anxious energy of the way things are going or about to go. Here, what do you have for Mercury? So in the conscious mind, in the subconscious mind, you are focused on family matters, relationship matters, you know, emotional fulfillment. Perhaps you are feeling very emotionally fulfilled in your life right now. Also, maybe you're just excited about something, not necessarily nervous or anxious, very, you know, ready. Um, and, you know, just focus on happiness. Mm. Maybe for some of you, there has been some discord in your relationship, some type of tension going on for you. Let's see. And that is, this is something that is um, the subconscious mind it are things that we pick up, but is also how we have been thinking for a long time that has become part of us. So let's see what else is going on in your conscious mind. Conscious mind is the page of swords. So maybe you are needing to find, you are focused on new ways of communicating. Maybe you have new ideas coming to the forefront that are going to support you in perhaps dealing if you are in this space of having any kind of disharmony within your emotions, within your relationships, any type of tension going on. Um, just unsure with the ways that you have been feeling that have really just been of the mind kind of energy, you know, really finding new ways to communicate as well. You may be receiving some type of, or maybe in this space of just trying to change your mind about things, find a new way to perceive, a new way to connect with others. You know, really focus on what the truth is here, what's the truth of the matter. Or, you know, just mm, maybe you are focused on new opportunities when it comes to work as well. Finding a new way to do something that is um, emotionally fulfilling in a sense. Material. So you are doing something different to attain uh, your physical reality, make things, to bring things to you, to materialize, to gain, you know, going about a new way of work, of doing things. You may also be feeling really inspired to revamp things surrounding you in your home, you know, make things a little bit more lively, maybe more lively things coming to you. Um, feeling or feeling very spirited in nature when it comes to what it is that you have in your life, the things it is that you're holding on to and possessing, and that is coming to fruition. So let's see. Okay, well, let's here. Yeah, very, very excited energy. Something new is entering. With this fertility stone, if you are pregnant, <clears throat> maybe you're about to have, maybe you're having a little boy. Or maybe an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius daughter. well-being so you have the devil in the well-being session um are you concerned about your health if so i would say it's a good time to come out of that subconscious energy of, of darkness like that's a shadow energy that you're dealing with when it comes to your health whatever it is that you may be perceiving as such it may not actually be that out of um Especially if you have been experiencing any type of emotional tension, that may be 
creating any type of disharmony within your well-being. Um, it's like you need to commit to a routine, a type of something that is going to help build you in a bodily fashion. Maybe be very practical in your daily movements, right? Because the devil is Capricorn energy. Capricorn is about success and getting the thing done. So perhaps it's something, some type of habit that you need to let go of, especially when it comes to food and movement. It may be time for you to shift that a little bit. At the same time, the devil can be very good energy. It can be you materializing good health, good well-being, you know, and just feeling very grounded, very stable within that. But if you are having some issues within your health, it's important that you recognize that you are in control of the way it is that you're feeling. And it's a really a need to kind of pull yourself out of your head and get into your body and do the work, you know, and, and not allow, right, because it's our thoughts that create our reality, not allow any type of a subconscious type of energy that, um, you know, kind of for correct that, move it on a new path, change that so that you can really come into a space where you are able to see the light of things and, and move forward in better standing, not feeling so heavy or overwhelmed. So it's interesting when the cards fell, the card that came out was the Ten of Wands. So you may be feeling, in a sense, very burdened by your current state of well-being. Right. So it's important that you release whatever kind of burdens it is that you are holding on to, whatever it is, whatever you can get out of doing that, that you can uh, if you can delegate some things, it's time to do that. And so your overall embodiment is the King of Wands. So the King of Wands speaks about um, inspired action, really when you have the idea of going after it and making it happen, he makes it happen. He does it. So perhaps you are in that place. And that is really supportive energy in bringing in this new material energy that's coming to you or that is arriving in your life. And also getting beyond the shadow energy that is here when it comes to your well-being. So really take the time. Also, this can also speak about if you are in this space of uh, your plans seem to have gone awry or if you're having any type of scattered energy as well, that may be a thing. And to get out of that, that would what will support you is just acting on whatever type of inspiration you have, whatever type of creative ideas. If you have to change your plans, be open to that, be know that you are capable, right? Highly capable, but you may also be feeling very full in your power, you know, recognizing where it is that your authority lies and moving forward in that space so very strongly. Okay, so the spirit overall, you have the Ace of Swords. So Again, this is a new way of thought, a new way of perceiving. Uh, perhaps you have been in this space of meditating or getting really clear in your mind and letting go of anything that has been keeping you going in any type of cycles that have been creating discord, disharmony in your life, you know, and really being focused on moving forward through that. It's the source, it's air energy, that's the ethers. You know, so very spiritual nature of how it is that you have been going about things, kind of more so just letting, choosing to let go and move forward in the truth, focusing on the truth, right? So spiritual practice is the seven of swords. So with this, this is saying to me, how have it, how has it been that you have been deceiving yourself? You know, also, if you feel like that there's someone around you you can't trust, it's time to let that go. Um, be more clever in the ways that you go about uh, connecting to spirits. So maybe you need to... Hmm. 
Okay, so maybe you need to take time to get more into your heart space instead of in your mind, right? Instead of just always trying to figure the truth out that may be getting you in this space caught up of being deceived, right? In that devil energy that's affecting you on a body level and a really also a need to kind of get out of any self negative self-talk uh criticizing yourself if you have been doing that or if there has been any relationships that you have had that have made you gotten you in the space of thinking something about yourself that is not necessarily the truth all right it's time to work on moving away from that and letting that go so that you can get really clear on who it is that you are and what it is that you have going on for yourself because that's the only thing that's really important let's see about these emotions especially since you have this ten of cups in the subconscious energy emotions spirit emotions so four swords in the emotions definitely some healing some meditation some stillness that needs to happen here right especially if there has been any type of dissension any type of disharmony within your relationships within yourself if you're feeling unsure on an emotional level so maybe that anxiety anxious feeling was like if some of you are excited some of you are feeling very anxious about something going on in your life um maybe just having this lack of clarity but you're trying to come into it right because you have this page of source energy in this conscious conscious mind you know and really just are you concerned about your finances in a sense has that been bothering you um are you not able to do as much work as you were doing before and you are unsure if whether or not you are going to be able to continue to do that. Regardless, you seem to be in the space of healing, right? And, and getting things back to alignment with your happiness, your truth, you know, who it is that you are. Um, I do want to say that whatever it is that you choose to do, uh, you can make it happen. It is up to you to make it happen. You know, it's up to you to just make the choice whether or not if you're going to do it or not. Definitely take some time to get out of your mind and not be so focused on trying to figure everything out. Advice creating heaven on earth so yeah if you have been worrying know that you don't really have a reason to because what it is you you're on you're doing what you should be doing you're creating the life it is that you want continue to take the time to heal you know continue to take the time to act on your inspired fall fall through with your inspired actions continue to not be so focused in the mental state in the mind space and get in this space of trusting knowing that everything is really okay all right because you guys are the first ones to have all these swords what is this eight nine nine of swords yeah so this is something nine to 12, 13 13 is that is the death card so definitely some transformation is needing to take place in your mind space um or perhaps you are already taking the time to transform what's going on in your mind space but you are definitely um creating what it is that you desire you just need to take the time to rest and really nourish yourself really take care of you right all right because then you got the venus card all right venus right now is in sagittarius and that king of wands is very sagittarian in nature so perhaps you are sagittarius or dealing with a sagittarius either way um it's definitely time to lighten the load lighten the mood you know and not be so caught up in any type of pessimism you know really you need to be more optimistic be positive in your thinking you know your life is expanding so you really need to 
be on in alignment with a mindset that's going to support and serve you in um, what's to come, right? Because you don't want to build any type of um, any more blockages later that you're going to have to deal with, you know, that's going to stop you from being able to really make it happen. You know, focus on love, focus on what feels good, focus on on pleasurable things, focus on what it is that it, that you have right now. Be grateful for everything it is that you have and know that more is coming on its way and that <laughs> you are, um, you have everything that you need for sure. Yeah, the key, I don't know if somebody else got this, but the key basically says is that you're opening up a new door. This is the four of wands. So definitely a lot of achievement, a lot of success, you know, it's not necessarily clear how the success is coming, but it is coming. You may be receiving some messages soon from someone, um, or maybe you might just be getting into like getting out of your mind with the spirit with the spirit action you know placement here is going to help you be open to receiving the messages and with the seven of swords being in your spiritual practice maybe you need to also be listening and taking action being clever with the messages the signs that you're receiving the synchronicities it is that you are receiving as well so that you can um, really make the move and, and be able to see clearly right because when things are going well or or not well in our lives we see this through the synchronicities through the the similarities that continue to pop up in our lives so know that everything's okay what's hidden from you is the giveaway so perhaps you need to share with others was this the five the hair upon so yeah, maybe you need to share with others the wisdom it is that you have gained along the way. This is about not giving away things because they have no use to you, but giving away what has served you and what is still serving you, what has helped you, you know, so being open to uh, supporting other people, not in a way of... Um, that's like giving more than you have to give, but in a way that shows a space of gratitude because here it talks about making a list for what you are grateful and connect to that feeling yeah you really need to connect to that sense of gratitude being grateful for what you have so you can get out that space of worry if that has been a thing um you know and instead really listen really take some time to recognize what it actually is that's happening here don't set any limits on yourself of what is possible for you what is possible for your life, you know? This also speaks about letting go of any uh, resentment. Um, only offer what is sustainable for you. And also give to yourself. Again, nourish yourself, take care of yourself. Give yourself some self-love, some self-care on a consistent basis, not just, oh, okay, today I'm gonna do that, but on a consistent basis. Um, and be, be thankful for what it is that you have, right? Get out of that space of um, scarcity, right? Because that may, that scarcity worries us on many levels. It's not just a financial thing, you know, it's on many levels. So let's see, what else is here? So that is what's hidden from you. Um, if you give away things, offer things to people, but also it's also been your lack of gratitude that has been keeping you in the space of concern. Affirmation for power three spirit. Affirmation for power three. So we have magic. So believe that you have everything you need to make happen what it is that you want to make happen, you know, lighten up so that you can make room for the magic to happen, to ensue in your life. Don't feel like um, it's not possible or that something is out of reach or not 
you're not capable of it because you are. Magic here says, I believe in magic. I see evidence of it all the time. Although the tricks can probably be explained away by something sensible and ordinary, I'd rather not ruin the fun. Other people can feel their days with mere confidence. I'll fill mine with, holy crap, that's unbelievable. You know, so always be in this space of wonder, uh, you know, approach life with a sense of curiosity. Like if I do this, then I wonder what can happen. Let's see and try it out you know so group three i hope that this has been helpful for you if you are still here at the end of the video and you watched the entire video bless you <laughs> thank you for being here with me um yes if you are in need of a reading we still have 33 percent off all of our readings use the clat the the code glad tiding on checkout and Yes, I will see you guys very soon, most likely tomorrow, and I hope that you have a great Friday. Bye.